a solid has a base that is the region between y equals x squared, y equals 4, and the y-axis. Let's start with that. You have to be able to graph this on your own. So the region between y equals x squared, y equals 4, and the y-axis. That would be this region here. That's the base. Every plane cross section perpendicular to the y axis is an equilateral triangle. So when we draw the the base of the equilateral triangle it goes from the y-axis out to the curve coming out of the screen is an equilateral triangle here's a picture of what three of those would look like our job is to find the volume of the solid before we derive the formula of how to find the area of an equilateral triangle based on the side length s and so that formula was root 3 over 4 times s squared great the heart of this problem as in most of these cross-sectional volume problems is to find this formula in terms of the variable that you're integrating with respect to when you have cross sections that are perpendicular to the y-axis then you should be integrating with respect to y we increase y which will in turn increase the the area of these equilateral triangles and so then we have to uh, integrate with respect to y this distance here that's off the y-axis is called x so this formula here needs to be solved for x well y is x squared so x is the square root of y and so although this distance is called x we can't represent it in terms of x because we're integrating in terms of y so we replace it with the square root of y. So that is the side length, the square root of y. That was a hard part of the problem. It's all downhill from here. The formula for volume by slicing is to integrate this cross sectional area formula. A of y would be this area formula with s plugged in with the root of y plugged in when you square you just get y so we just need to integrate root 3 over 4 times y well, what's your lower limit what's the lowest y ever is 0 what's the highest y ever is 4 so those become your limits of integration you can pull the constant out and we're just integrating y we get y squared over 2. We put a 4 in, we get 8. Multiplying by root 3 over 4, the answer is 2 root 3. And so that's it. The key is this formula and being able to represent s as a function of y in this case because we're perpendicular to the y axis for our cross sections. Okay, great.